now turned to a senseless act of violence out of Maryland. A young mother of five named Rachel, Rachel Morin was murdered along, with a, uh, along a popular hiking trail by an alleged perpetrator from El Salvador, who is also suspected of another murder in his home country. I mean, our deepest sympathies, our prayers go out to Rachel's entire family. Uh, you know, Randolph Rice, let me ask you a question. And, and you're a, an attorney, and I hear you have a really great <sighs> reputation. Um, thank you for being on the show, sir. And, you know, thank please you. know my heart breaks for this family. When, if I were to go down mm -hmm. to the border and I were to pick up people at the border and I were to transport them to other states, why do I think that I'd be guilty of human trafficking? How is it that our government is doing that very thing and they're taking in people from countries with terror ties and our top geopolitical foes? How come that's not a legal issue that, that has been won in court? Well, because the rules don't apply to the politicians, unfortunately. And, you know, this is, again, not a Republican or Democrat issue. This is an American issue that they need to stop. They need to reset this border because Rachel Morin's death was preventable. They could have stopped this by, by stopping this individual who just a month before this had murdered a woman in El Salvador and comes across the border and attacks women in Los Angeles and comes 1,800 miles and kills Rachel. So this can be prevented. They need to stop everything there, reset, reevaluate. They can have policies in place. That's fine. But we need to be able to see who's coming across this border and stop people like this suspect who killed Rachel.